Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari. And on here, we talk about various fragrances that I have in my collection or any recommendation that you all have brought up. Today, I want to talk about a, a versus type video. So if you love Atomic Rose by Initio Perfumes, then this is two versions of that fragrance done through Middle Eastern. To be precise, it's done through Latafa. And if you have never heard of me and this is your first time ever coming across my page, then I want to say welcome. Welcome to the page. You can follow me on all my social medias. Uh, I would always initiate for you to go to Instagram first because that's where I started off first. But I'm also on TikTok and of course I'm on YouTube. But to all my returning subscribers, let's jump into it. Have you ever wanted a version of Atomic Rose but just couldn't pay the price? These two are it. And I'm going to break them down to see which one of them would be best for you. If that sounds interesting, then stay tuned. All right, so let's just jump into it. I'm going to start off with the first one. My first one I'm going to go with is going to be Latafa's version, and it's called Amethyst. I'm going to make sure I give you an up-close picture of it because the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. The difference in the... And, of course, there is some variance in the bottle. The bottle is just purple. Of course, you know that Atomic Rose is purple. Uh, the Latafa's bottle is just a little, is a little more fancier, right? But the actual style of it is about the same. But it's not so much just the style of the bottle that's the same. The fragrance inside of it is the same. If you have Atomic Rose, then you're going to get Pink Pepper, Bergamot, Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose, Egyptian, Jasmine, Ma um, Madagascar Vanilla, and Amber. <clears throat> the only difference in getting the Tafas version is you're going to still get that same pink pepper and bergamot. And both of those roses, the Turkish rose, the Bulgarian rose, uh, they have Aragar Oud is in Amethyst. So there is your variation. But I really enjoy it. I enjoy the fact that they added the Oud in it because it gives it like almost like a base, a delicious base. But between the two of Amethyst and Affinity Rose, I think Amethyst would be your best, like, on-the-nose dupe. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is delicious, to be truthfully honest. It is the reason why I haven't went out to get Atomic Rose, because I feel when I had the sample, they were the same. Okay, so let's talk about Affinity Rose. Affinity Rose is again is very similar the color of the bottle is similar but of course uh latafa uh decided to kind of give it a little more pizzazz on the outside of the bottle uh but this one here even though it says it has the same notes which is your bergamot your pink pepper your Bulgarian rose Turkish rose and Egyptian jasmine, along with the Madagascar vanilla. This one is similar. It is not a good copy. It's just similar because for Affinity Rose, they were more heavy on the citrus note in this one here. It's a gorgeous fragrance. It is absolutely enchanting. You get a wonderful flower freshness. You get a woodiness, but it's more citrus than Atomic Rose. Where Atomic Rose has a hint of citrus note because it's just a bergamot. This one here is bergamot and citrus hudain. Hidan, if I'm not mistaken. And that added citrus note took this one here and made it in a class by itself. So if you were to see any one of these, and I know that it seems a bit odd, right? Affinity has two versions of their fragrances that are similar to Atomic Rose. But this one is if you wanted more bergamot, you wanted more citrus note than Affinity Rose would be the one that I would tell you to go get. So price 
point. That's the part that I didn't talk about. Price point. This one here is um I found it as low as $37, right? So it's it's super affordable. Now, this one here I found it as low as $45. But either way, that pricing is so much cheaper than getting Atomic Rose. So this video was about the verses of the two clones for Atomic Rose and which one, in my opinion, do I think is an actual duplicate copy and that would be Amethyst and one that would be very similar but yet still beautiful and that would be Affinity Rose. So I hope that I helped you out. I hope that this video gave you some insight to fragrances you can go get that will be close to Atomic Rose. If you have tried either one of these, please in the chat, tell us about it, share it so more people can hear about it and get other opinions. I think that both are absolutely gorgeous and I think that you would not lose if you choose either one of them. However, um, Atomic Rose is such a gorgeous scent that if you have the opportunity to get the original, then I say get the original. This is always enjoyable for me to do this with you, and I hope that I helped you out. So on that note, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful afternoon. Whenever it is that you got an opportunity to watch this video, my only request is that you share it so more people can find my channel and we can grow our community. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. And on that note, I'm going to say have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.